Shut up, you perverts. Shut up. You're disgusting. You foul. All right, look, now, this is, uh... <laughs> look at that title. Look at that title, man. If there wasn't a more appropriate video for this stream, you know what's up. We're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna get right into it. Love this Mumford and Sons ash right here. How's everything going with Brian? God streaming. Damn! Praying to the tiny meat gods you get healthy. Oxford Grizzly, appreciate you. I gotta say that again. God damn. You saw the camera sweep on that? You saw the camera sweep on that? Look at it. That steady op had to pull that camera up. He was like. Alright, hold up. Reset. I gotta get the motion on that one again. Alright, we got her. We got her. When is he gonna pop the question already? Because hasn't it been like two years? Every time we go out to dinner, I'm like, is this it? Is this it? She could just pick me up like a crane game at an arcade, just fucking. I met Brian through a worship night through our church. Yeah, I found him at church. Uh, they had a vending machine for homie dolls, and he was the only white one in there. And I was like, I have to have him. So I spent about $3, and I finally got him, and just <laughs> and out he popped, my little husband. <laughs> we haven't had a typical relationship. We've had a lot of obstacles. My dad is a really loving guy, but there's always those like jokes and digs and comments. And I feel like I constantly have to defend him and say, look, he's wonderful and awesome and my best friend. When she said we had a lot of obstacles, I just imagine her dad put out a straight up obstacle course for her boyfriend. I was like, all right, if you can make it through this, you can have my daughter. My siblings, once they realize she really likes this guy, like I, I gotta lay off the short jokes and like actually be accepting because it's gonna be your future husband. That's your sister? What did you get that she didn't get? Why did your sister come out of an Easy Bake oven and you came out of a she fucking, she came out that Han Solo mold. Look at this shit, this is what she came out of. This is what they made this, her, the first kid with. She fucking. <laughs> It, he nutted into this shit and her mom shot her egg in it then they added fucking magma and fire and adamantium and then <laughs> that's how they made her and then they just had regular sex with her her ass came out the easy bake oven it's very important to me that my father accepts Brian and brings him to the family and makes him feel like an, a, another son um Damn, that chair, they couldn't get her a bigger chair. They had to put her in a stool to accent how fucking big her knees are. Jesus. You know, I'm getting antsy in my pantsy. I want to, like, put on a wedding dress. Holy, <laughs> oh, it's going to be so much fun. Yo, Buddy must have huge. <laughs> buddy must be packing. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, look at my man. Look at my man. <laughs> yeah. Put it down for the boys. <sighs> I don't know what that is, dog, if that ain't love. Yo, my man's squatting. My man's squatting heavy. My man's squatting. <laughs> even, even this dude is like, what the fuck? No way. This is me vlogging the whole situation. Brian is five foot eight, and I'm obviously six foot seven. We always find curbs for him to stand on and like that's the that's the that's the sign of love right there that's the sign of love right there put that on a poster right there just cut that out just yink 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 the sign of true love we're good about laughing about it because it makes other people feel comfortable because it is so awkward and obvious for everybody else that we're the first ones to say hey look like we're cool with this like we obviously know i'm nine inches taller <laughs> hi babe hold on i'm coming up there Now the trick is to get off this shit without eating shit. That'd be my karma. I was getting whapped on stream. <laughs> I didn't tell my parents that we were dating for six months because I didn't think that they would approve of me bringing home a short guy. Damn, dude, she dragging his ass. She should have put his ass in a sled and just dragged him all through the sand. I'm glad we started at Friends and things kept moving, you know? Even though you had a crush on me. <laughs> what, what was that like from his perspective? You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> you just sitting in church looking at her tall ass just like My dad is six foot seven and he expected me to marry someone who's taller and bigger than me and like make like super babies. <laughs> super babies. Uh, her dad is a super villain. I will combine you with the tallest man and from you both will be the tallest baby boy. I did have a crush on you. I mean, come on. It's okay, I had a crush on you too. Don't even say it, guys. Well, she could crush him. That's the crush she had. She could crush him. <laughs> Patrick star ass joke. Get out of here. I fully believe that like God has a plan for us. I love you. Me too. There are young there are young small men my size and even taller trying to get arms like her. <laughs> it's not just another daughter. I'm his baby. I'm his baby girl. I'm such a family person that that's what's important to me. <laughs> Look at this fucking dad right here. That's, that is some asshole shit right there. <laughs> God damn! I'm here today at the Newport Pier to talk to Haley's family to ask for their blessing for her hand in marriage. He and I have been dating for two years, and without her father's blessing specifically moving forward, it's going to be tough for us. Um, hopefully, they can see the love between us and the connection that we have. But I, you know, I'm extremely nervous right now. Um, Haley's dad is an intimidating guy. He's fucking huge. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Doctor Robotnik, Eggman, pissed off. Haley, you didn't tell me you were dating Sonic. Hey, Bray. Wow, this is the, like the uh, last rites for something. Uh, you know, execution <laughs> time or something. What? What the fuck did he? What did he even say? Listen to me, hedgehog. <laughs> Haley's family is extremely tall, you know, and they do poke fun at me. They poke, you know, <laughs> short jokes at me all the time. Um, they joke that I'm ruining their their gene pool. I, I guess I can understand where it comes from, but I really I don't like it. You want to talk about eugenics? This fool is on some eugenics shit right here. Oh, the way he looks at him too, hateful, just fucking with those goofy ass shades, bro. with his non-lips. As you know, uh, Haley and I have been getting pretty serious and um, I know we've had, you know, some, some funny interactions and <laughs> probably not what you pictured for. Oh my God, that fucking villainous laugh, dude. <laughs> do tell, you little man. Tell more, Farquaad. We do laugh at you. <laughs> What would a tiny man like you think they could get with a big daughter like mine? You tiny, tiny man. Go back to the hole from which you were born from and never come back here again. But, uh, you know, I love your daughter with all of my heart. Um, she's one of the most wonderful people I've ever met in my entire life. And, um... What are you asking me exactly? God damn, he calling him a bitch. He don't like you because you small, man. He act, He don't like you because you act small. If you was 5'8", but you was like commanding as fuck, he was like, he was like, listen here, you big bitch. I'm going to marry your daughter, whether you like it or not. So you're going to shake my hand. Shake it. Get your big. All right, chill out. Chill out. Chill out, man. Specifically, sir, I'm asking for your daughter's hand in marriage and for your blessing. And if I say no, what are you going to do? He think he's stupid, bro. That's why he don't like you. He think you're dumb as fuck. You wasted his time now. Why the fuck you bring me here? But he sucks too, man. Fucking apprentice looking at... No, that's like um, it's like Shark Tank. Now, what, what happens if I decline the deal, huh? What you going to do then? What, if I, what happens if I decline your counteroffer? Did you think about that? Well, I would say I would have a condition to say, give you my blessing. Yeah. Would you be willing to accept my condition? Here's my condition. If I give you my blessing, okay? You have to go to China and you have to get reconstructive leg surgery. You have to be 5'10", at least, okay? At least. I can live with that. Yeah, I mean, Haley means so much to me that I, I would agree to whatever conditions you would have. You, you agree to my conditions? Yes, sir. Okay, my condition is that you get to pick the month, I get to pick the year. And my ear doesn't have a five or six in it, so that will tell you right now where my thought is. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ooh, that was cold. That was 
cold. That was fucked up. This dude, so he should have shot him in the dick right there. My month doesn't have a five. <laughs> shut up, man. Just shut up with your bleedy nuts. Shut up. What you going to do with all that blood in your nuts, Eggman? That's a pretty big condition. You said you accept it. That's yeah. what you said. Are you a man of your word? Wow. <laughs> Just bullying him. God. Bro, you got to go find you a girl that's 5'7". You don't have to deal with this. Oh, that's going to be your father-in-law forever. I, I, I really honestly hope we can work it out. Wow. He is petrified. <laughs> I mean, in-laws stink, but you should never feel... Like, you see this? He's looking at him like a roller coaster. He is terrified. He don't want to... He just... Yeah, I'm tall enough for the ride, but... Oh, my stomach is not going to be good right now. Or for the whole thing. I would hope you want to work it out with me because if I say no and you, and you go on without me, then it gets to be real bumpy from that point on. That was ice cold. <laughs>